Hey everybody, do you know what time it is? It is time for some more Let's Play Kirby's of a Yarn. In the last part, we did the two secret missions of World 4, and in this part, we are going to seemingly finally go on to the Snowland. The Snowland, I know. And I stuttered like two two times in that. We'll make that three times in that intro, but. <laughs> Alright, first level, Snowy Fields. Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, the gimmick of this entire world, snow! Yeah, not particularly, not particularly ice where you slip around and stuff. No, just snow. And one good thing about this game and ice levels, there is no slippery ice. Although I don't, I'll, oh yeah, there is. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but Kirby just kind of skates across it, so you know, at least you get to watch him skate. <laughs> yeah, and yes, the snowballs are actually cotton balls, which is a pretty good touch to the whole, you know, Hobby Lobby theme of this game. <laughs> All right, and I believe if we- oh, Jesus! Kirby, why did it just, like, fail? Yeah, so you know those- so you know those last few parts that are recorded really, really late at night with little sleep and that old Dr. Pepper? Yeah, this is that. This is part four of that. I'm still awake, I'm wide awake, I don't feel like playing Minecraft, so I'm doing this. Yep. I'm professional. No. And are those, like, footprints in the snow? No, whatever. So yeah, what's up, guys? Today's rant will be about Minecraft. Yay, Minecraft. Because I don't already talk about that enough on this channel. No, not at all. Alright, ooh, we got beats. But yeah, today particularly will be about the Minecraft... Getting frozen today. I was frozen today! Yeah, the Minecraft 1.6.4 update. Now, at the time of recording this, I was the newest one, and it is completely buggy. It's... it's oh my god, it's extremely buggy, but... More so about the Yogscast. Yes, I'll actually be talking about the Yogscast for once. Because I don't do that enough already. Already, yeah. Because it, it's, not like I, it's not like I reference them in every video, you know. But I, of course, I'm a huge Yogscast fan. As, as if I didn't already establish that before in the, in the previous parts. But, um, yeah, huge fan of their work. Although, I'm a little disappointed to see what they've done with this series in Shadow of Isterfell. Like, so far it's been great, but... It seems like as soon as they made the multiplayer Nether available, they just jumped right back to that, you know? It kind of makes you feel like the first 20 parts of the series were all just filler, you know what I mean? And it kind of makes you think, you know, they're not going to go back to what they were doing in the story, because the story was already hard enough to follow as it was, so... You know, I even looked up a summary of the entire story, I still didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, um... I, 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 re I rewatched the entire series, I didn't get it, so then I looked up a summary. I, I have a better idea, but I still don't quite get it, you know? I, uh. Still a great series though. They're no, no, oh, I missed. But yeah, they're very, they're very funny. And plus they're British, so you know. And if I establish it, that's amazing. So yeah, ooh, red beads. So yeah, the bead goal shouldn't be that hard to get in this episode. <laughs> I remember in this level there is one jump that I can never make. It's actually it's coming up too. And oh, don't, don't, don't. Thank you. All right, swing, swing across. Thank you, Kirby. Yes, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking. Um, Kirby. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm smart. And there's a polar bear bed. I'm not sure who was sleeping in that. Is that like a cottage bed? Hmm, I don't know. Die! Oh, I probably should have kept that alive. Hmm. Let's go find a different Waddle D to harness into a ball and then force into it. Nope. Derp. Yeah, let's go find a different Waddle D to force into a ball and, you know, thrust it into a block to kill it mercilessly. Mahaha, <laughs> I'm cool. And Kirby, thank you. Okay, so we've harnessed him. Part one, harnessing. Part two, getting down here. Part three, destroying him. Mahaha! You're completely what's it called? Inimportant. Your parents don't love you. They just let you go out here. Maha. No, okay. Hooray! I was going absolutely nowhere with that. But you knew that already. Uh, yeah, obligatory. Josh Jackson in reference. I can't believe how much I reference him. I don't, I don't even watch his videos, and yet I reference him all the time. It's so sad. So sad. In fact, I even unsubscribed from him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Okay, right here. This jump. I can never make this jump. And I can never get those beads up there. Because I think this is the only way to get them. Yeah. I have no idea how you're supposed to get up there. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother looking for it in this video. Just because... Well, I don't know. Maybe. Let's see. We got something to do with going up there. Uh, sir. Sir, thank you. Uh, okay, so there's a way of getting up there. Hmm. Maybe. I'm sure it's very entertaining to watch me backtrack trying to figure out a puzzle. Dang, some people do enjoy watching that. Pick some Kirby. Uh, some Kirby defines calm not commentary. I don't care what you say. Uh, ooh, let's get that. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. How the hell am I supposed to get up there? Um, maybe. 
Oh, maybe I jump off. Okay, I see how I'm, how I'm supposed to get up there. Oh, I see what you did there, riders. Well, not riders, but... Okay, now let's see what I can do from here. Absolutely nothing! How interesting. <laughs> Once again, I'm not seeing how I'm supposed to get up there, unless maybe you jump up there using the snowballs. Now, whatever. I'm done. Done. <laughs> Alright, with that aside, we're going to continue with the actual level now. Because, yeah, once again, watching me try this whole puzzle isn't that interesting. Hmm. So, yeah, this world, this world, just in general, isn't that outstanding. You know, it's, it's just another world, it's another place to be. Although, the boss of this world is incredibly awesome. And it actually has some backstory behind it, yeah, for once. And yeah, I just had to try that jump one last time. But the boss of this, of this world is amazing, and it probably has one of my, one, one, probably my favorite song in this game, other than maybe the final boss theme. Although, the final boss theme is very loud, I've noticed. Like, just very cluttery and loud. And, I don't know, it, it's so pretty cool, though. And um, I might as well give the spoiler now. The final boss theme is actually a combination of the final boss themes from the other Kirby games. So, like, from the for, for the first 10 seconds, it's from Nightmare and Dreamland, and then the next 10 seconds is from Dreamland, you know? I'm not sure if that's how it goes, but, you know, that, that's just an example of how it generally goes. Which is really cool, I'm glad they did that. Because, you know, it shows that... Well, for one, they actually care. But I, I don't know. I like it when game series reference other games in their series. Like Paper Mario is excellent at doing that. In Super, in Super, pa Super Paper Mario. I can never say that without stuttering. Yes, yeah, in Super Paper Mario, they do that a lot, and I love that game because of that. Particularly in Chapter Three, when you go into the nerd's room. But <laughs> yeah. Also, another thing I love about game series is, is when they can poke fun at either themselves or their fans. And Super pa Super Paper Mario does that incredibly. In the third chapter, the boss is a giant nerd. Yeah, it's a, it, it, it's incredible. I just freaking love how, how Nintendo can make fun of their fans. And, and you'll notice that, like, in, in his bedroom, you can see a whole bunch of, like, merchandise for the Paper Mario series. God, I just love Nintendo sometimes. You know, I've, I've never heard of Sony doing that. Then again, I'm, like, Sony or Microsoft, I've never heard of them doing that. I'm not familiar with their scams at all, but I haven't heard of them doing that. <laughs> nah, whatever. I'm just very biased where it's Nintendo! Like IGN is, where it's at Microsoft, and basically anything that isn't Nintendo. Don't take that too seriously. <laughs> you can't say ignorant without IGN. Ah, I'm funny. Ah, subscribe! No. no escape, thank you. Oh, what's in, what's in here? Ah, beats. Alright, so we're gonna harness this thing, and we're just gonna drop him. We're just gonna leave him there to freeze in a little ball. I'm sure, I'm sure that's not painful at all. Okay, this is really annoying. Because these, oh, wow! Do I freaking missed? Okay, and why would you bring me all the way back here? That's so inconvenient, sir. You're you're a moron. You are you are a certified moron. Does it come a certified asshole? Right, anyway, open door. All right, so it does get really annoying here with the snowballs because if you get caught in a snowball and you go off the, then you uh, might get trapped and go off the map. You know, fall into a pit. And what's over here? Absolutely nothing. I'm still gonna kill him, though. You know, he, he caused me so much inconvenience, he deserves to die. And let's hope there's something, though. Okay, good. I was hoping there, like, I was thinking there might not be something to land on. And I guess you hide in this if that snowball's trying to kill you. Yes, yeah, snowballs, American villain number one. And I missed the treasure, and I scraped the beads. Okay, that's not acceptable, is it? No, it is not. Okay, what happened was, I went back, I was looking for the treasures and some beads, but I utterly failed. As you can see, I actually lost beads. So yeah, utterly failed. Oh, just like always, I'll cut ahead to me finding that treasure. You know, like always, nothing special. And... Yeah, that's not nearly enough to give me the gold. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice, though? <laughs> Alright, and we get a new patch. I've noticed that the patches are getting less creative as we go, which... Eh, uh, that's not good, no. No, that no, that probably isn't good. <laughs> In um, World 2, they were amazingly creative. I really like those. In um, World 1, too. And I'm trying not to say Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. <laughs> All right, first we're gonna activate the patch. A mitten. Ah, mittens. Oh, we're stealing that snowman's hat. You know, there's a reason why that snowman has that hat on. His head was cold. You know, he 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 could die. God, we are so mean. Oh, and and, and what a kick in the teeth. We used it to make a cozy cabin, where we could lounge and be warm. Wow, Kirby really is a jerk. And I found the treasure. It's up here. And as you can see, I did I did get enough beads to get the gold, so... Very nice, and... Did I get a bonus? Did, did I get a bonus? Oh, I missed. Oh, wait. 
Oh, I actually missed. Oh well. No, the world's gonna end now because I didn't get it. <laughs> Mommy. Uh. All right now. And I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking I'm just gonna end the episode off here. So we only got one level covered in this episode, but it's one very annoying one. And I can see how some people might refer to this, or refer to a walkthrough on YouTube to try and figure out where to get some of those treasures. But anyway, next time on the playing of Epic Yarn, we are going to go to Cozy Cabin, and if we have enough time, we'll do the third mission in this world. So I'll see you guys then, hope you enjoyed, prolong and always remember, prolonged endings are cool.